Hey everyone, thank you again for watching and thank you for your patience. So, it looks like this is going to be our last update video until we have a serious decision in this case. Uh, I know it's been a while since my last update video, but I wanted to make sure there's enough information to make this video worthwhile and worth the wait to you guys. So, let's get to it. So I finally got insurance for the AP1. I went with Haggerty Insurance. Uh, the only downside is you can't uh, daily drive the car, but since I have my Subaru now, I've uh, been driving the AP1 mostly on weekends anyway, so that'll have to do for now. Uh, it's only about $50 a month for insurance versus $171, which is the absolute cheapest insurance I could find for the last update video. So uh, it's definitely a good temporary fix. The weather's getting really nice, but at least I can drive the car now, put some miles on it, and hopefully, finally, have a good POV driving video for you in the next few weeks. The other major reason I chose Haggerty besides the price is that I can make videos with the car. Uh, I'm not going to be letting anyone drive, probably anytime soon, if not ever, but uh, I know for a fact that I can make videos for my YouTube channel personally with my car, and that will not be considered commercial use, so that's good news. So it's been a year since the accident. Kind of hard to believe, you know, time may fly, but this is the, the progress of this case certainly hasn't. So uh, with that in mind, I decided to write a demand letter to Oscar, which my attorneys approved of, asking for $2,000. I'll put a link in the description below. But basically it says that, you know, what two things he agreed to pay were my travel costs to get my AP2, so I have another car after the accident, and my deductible, which my lawyers said that is almost guaranteed to be covered uh, in the lawsuit itself. So I figured I'd offer Oscar one last final chance to get out of this, you know, make things right. He can even make payments. That's totally fine. But I wanted to send him this demand letter to hopefully wrap this thing up since it's been so long. And also because the, uh, court case keeps getting rescheduled farther and farther back. I sent Oscar the letter via certified mail. Uh, I know big Mike told me he would love to uh, deliver the letter himself, but he's been working a lot lately. So unfortunately he's not available, but, uh, and he, it would have been great to have that video to put in this update, me handing it to Oscar or Big Mike handing it over. But just to make sure everything ran smoothly and, you know, could actually be officially recorded of when it got there, I went with certified mail. That way we can uh, get this whole process moving a little faster. So the trial's been moved to June 28th, 2022 at 1.15 p.m. So I had to reschedule the uh, post-trial car meet accordingly. But don't worry, it's definitely still happening. And I'll see you guys after I get out of court. On a more positive note, my physical therapy from the November car accident is done. I have a few more doctor's appointments and checkups before I can start exercising full force again and, and be able to fully go out and live my life as I was. But thankfully, the car is back where it was before the accident, and I'm about 70-80% back to where I was before the accident. So there's some good news. So unfortunately, other than the date of the trial changing, there isn't really anything to update you guys on the case itself. Uh, no word from Oscar's attorneys, no letters, no letters from my attorney. I might be meeting with him in the next week or so just to go through our you know, strategy and everything. I do want to wait to hear back to see if Oscar replies or his attorneys reply to the demand letter I sent. But as far as the case itself, nothing has changed but the actual date and time. So I called Robert one more time, the motorcyclist from the accident, and unfortunately I haven't heard back. Uh, it went right to voicemail. I don't want to bother him. I know he uh, we had a good conversation, and he uh, didn't blame me for the accident. He did... Uh, mentioned that he was still going through his lawsuit, but I don't want to interfere with anything. He mentioned that potentially taking anything from me could void his lawsuit and be considered an out-of-court settlement. So I'm just going to leave him be until my trial's done, maybe send him a text with the update on actually what happens, the results. But uh, as of now, unfortunately, I don't have any direct update from Robert himself. So there you have it. This very well may be the final update video before we go to trial. Uh, I want to thank you guys for all your patience and thank you for watching and supporting me through all this whole process. Your advice has been amazing. It's been up there with the advice I've gotten from countless lawyers. It's been really amazing. I appreciate all your support and the engagement I've gotten in the comment section. I appreciate it. So uh, hopefully Oscar will settle out of court. If not, we'll see him in court and have the results. Hopefully I hear back from Robert and hopefully I'll get my car uh, insured the right way so I can daily it. But as of right now, things are looking up. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your patience and I'll see you in the next one.